I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're in the catacombs. We just did the shovel quest. So that's all done. Alright. This is, yeah, this is the only way to go. Ah, not a good start. Fucking thing did six damage. I mean, 30 damn fucking hell, I'm dead already. first. Okay, let's not check over there. Shit. Oh, hello. Hi there, I'm Ash, one of the miners here. Thanks for helping me out. I have a feeling the mines are going to be out of service for some time. But luckily I've been learning the art of brewing potions. This could give me a chance to really hone my skills. I'm going to head back to the tavern now and get started. Okay then. So now we can make potions. Let up, Rosa. Yes, we want that. Okay, we can go um or we can go over here. Another room that goes nowhere. Uh, 
Oh shit. Right, I can't risk it. all this then. Fall of the Linhorn. In the last days of Linhorn, the kingdom was in disarray. King Troll had summoned stone workers from all corners of the land to report to the capital for a very important project. When they arrived, the workers were instructed to begin taking apart the castle brick by brick and loading the stones into carts. This was too much for a group of brave knights led by Cyril of Tifali, who attempted to stop the king's actions by force. Over 50 warriors confronted King Trail and a bloody battle ensued. Some accounts say that the king slayed most of the warriors by himself, laughing manically as he spilt the blood of his own subjects. Only a few of the brave knights were able to escape King Trail's wrath. Okay, and we need to be able to... Oh, I want that. Oh, I remember this room. Wait a minute, uh, yeah, I might as well. And I'll just quickly save. But if I remember it correctly, this one Oh no, you need double jump to get over there. I want to farm these boomerang guys. I wonder how long... Pretty sure these are the guys that drop it. They drop 
leather braces which can be enchanted and bone whips which are to have six damage which I want both of them so I could spend the whole episode here like basically you can you can take leather braces to the end of the game if if you don't want to take a combat belt combat belt is better but you know Fuck, he's not dropping shit. I think what I'll do is I'll level up and then I'll save it. Till later here, save it till later. Gotta be a save point already somewhere. Holy shit. feeling there's a secret in this room. What the hell? An outline of a feather in the dust.
Here we go. This place is incredible. I've learned more about the Lidori in the last hour than I have in the past year. Many artifacts are buried here among the dead, but this one is the most intriguing. These inscriptions say that the Ulak ordered the shaman to move the, his people underground. Then the tribe turned his attention to the construction of the temple you see in this carving. It goes on to say that the countless generations of Lidori died during the construction of the temple. Their remains were placed in these catacombs to await the Age of Darkness when they would rise again. If they built this temple, where could it be? And why was it so important? Please continue on without me and see what else you can find. I will catch up when I finish here. To my astonishment, we have discovered the Lidori tribe's burial ground. The corridor seems to twist for miles in all directions. The question of where the Lidori went has been answered, but another has sprung up in its place. What is the temple they dedicated their lives to building? Oh, what? Oh, it must be important. As the inscriptions say, countless generations perished during its construction. Their remains were placed here in the catacombs to await the Age of Darkness when they would do it. And it's basically what he just said. Ah, uh, yeah. Here we go. And I can save it. Okay then. Feel protected. Shit. Yeah, that was that was bad. There's a leather bracer. What the hell? Oh, that's a leather belt. That's what I want. Yeah. Oh, shit. Chicken. I mean, turkey. Poultry. Right recipe. Uh, I need the wall jump to go up there. And the blacksmith. 
Thanks for the help, friend. I'm Dom, the local blacksmith. I wish I could help you clear out these corridors, but I'm better at making swords than welding them, wielding them. Stop by my shop in Carthus sometime. I'll give you a nice deal on some new equipment. Never gonna happen. What? There's something up there? Oh no, no there isn't. Okay, where am I going? Oh yeah, I see. And then down here. Oh, this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, step right up and spin the wheel of fate. This wheel is for those who like to put it all in line. But be careful, just like life, it doesn't always come up roses. Will you spin the wheel of fate? Yeah, why not? Good luck. Oh, uh, that's it. You got yourselves a winner. It seems Lady Luck was on your side this time. Perhaps we will cross paths again. Okay then. Shit. Oh, th this is a boss. I think, I think it's a boss. Ah. Fucking hell, how do you dodge that? How the fuck do you dodge that? And there's no save point. I can't do anything. Uh, no, I don't. Oh. I, I didn't know what to do. There was literally no other option other than just die. So, wait a minute. I don't have my leather bracer anymore. I do have my chainmail though. Fuck off. 
Let's go on his back. Oops. Ah. Oh. So I lost money that time. That's fucking stupid. I need to figure out how to fucking fight this thing. What the fuck? I know what to do in this room. That goes back up to the top. food go I'm gonna go search I'm gonna be careful I think I know where the save is it's up here there it is Okay then, now we don't need to worry as much. That's right, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cups. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven swords. One, two, three, four, five, stars. Felix Farron, Entry 2. After we finally worked up the courage to pull the lever, Drake and I split up to look for clues. I discovered several frescoes down here that I believe contain clues to opening the gate. Now if I can just figure out what they mean. I hope Drake didn't get himself completely turned around. He's a lunkhead, but I could really use his help finding, fending off these monsters. So seven, seven, and five. One, two, three, four, five, yeah.
What the hell is this? Actually, wait a minute, I'll go this way. Oh no, that leads me to the garden. This one leads me back here, yeah, here we go. That's going to be it for this episode. Um, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Be good to your mother. And I'll see you next time. Peace.